Now last week I made a video about changes to GCSE and A-level exams in England, but I had people from all over the world asking about what's happening to IGCSEs and also the international A-levels. Well, I've been in contact with the exam boards and in this video I'm going to explain some of the main differences as we know it at this time. So I've been in contact with some of the main exam boards and at the moment I'm filming this on the 7th of December. This is what we know at this time. Now in England they're delaying the start of the exams by about three weeks um, and they're going to run later into June. Unfortunately for international students there's this fixed deadline of Friday the 18th of June. After this, loads of international schools go on their summer breaks and that means they can't just make all the exams a bit later in the year. They're still going to be the same fixed end date, but what they're trying to do is push back the exams as far as possible. Now the other complication, in addition to the fact that lots of you will have missed school, is that for a lot of international exams, especially at A-level, you have quite a few different exams because they're quite modular. So in England you might do paper one, paper two and paper three, but for a lot of you doing international A-levels, you might have six papers in total. So what they're going to try and do is they're going to try and delay the start of exams as much as possible. I know for IGCSEs, they're delaying it by about two weeks compared to normal. In actual fact, um, if you look at the link beneath this video, there's a link to the Edexcel summer timetable for June 2021. And they've actually pushed back paper one to start on the 27th of May, and then paper two is on the 17th of June. So it looks like they're delaying the, the start of the exams by a week or so, but not by as much as what's happening in England. Now, I suppose the other thing they're looking at, apart from actually when the exams are, is the format of the exams. And a lot of international A-levels and international GCSEs follow what's happening in the UK and in England in particular. Now, the announcement about England was that um, they might give you a formula booklet so you don't have to remember all of the formulas. This is maybe more appropriate at GCSE level, um, but to be honest at A level, if you're in the exam, they tend to give you a data book that has all the main formulas anyway. So I don't know how much of that's gonna be a difference. The other thing that they announced was about, um, they're gonna maybe give students a bit of an idea about some of the topics that are more likely to come up in those exams. And I think from what a from Edexcel said, they said, uh, we're looking at ways for both IAL and international GCSE to follow the same principles announced for the UK qualifications last week. So I think that might mean um, formula booklets being given out and maybe some hints to the actual topics which are coming up in the exam. At the moment though, that's all I know. In England, they're going to be announcing more details at the end of January and obviously that's going to have an impact that once they know what's happening in England, they're going to communicate that to your schools um, to let you know a little bit more about what's happening this summer. And I suspect as well, um, and this is the same if you're doing Oxford AQA, if you're doing Cambridge International, if you're doing Edexcel Pearson exams, they're going to follow the same pattern. There's going to be no big delay to your exams. There's probably going to be the same amount of content taught, but there might be a few more hints and tips in the lead up to the exams about what might be coming up in each paper. What I will be doing though is trying to help you as much as possible with live streams for anything to do with physics, both IGCSE or international A-levels. I'll be doing these on a Monday. Now the times are UK based, so it's about six o'clock in the evening in the UK, but if you're asleep, if you're in a completely different time zone, what you can always do is you can follow up these live streams because I'll be posting them up on YouTube and also be able to find them linked through both of my websites, both GCSE Physics Online and A-Level Physics Online. So. I'm afraid I don't have anything solid apart from the fact that I suspect your exams are going to be about a similar time to last year and probably cover most topics, which I know for some of you is going to be quite difficult if you've had to miss loads of school. Anyway, good luck wherever you are in the world. I really hope it goes well for you. Thank you.